up, nigga. Turn this shit up. Sound way, turn this shit up, nigga. Hey, sound way, turn this shit up, nigga. Turn this shit up. drive as you can see but I am on my way to the nail shop y'all my nails are looking so bad uh, I'm gonna try to put y'all here uh, I don't like that my nails are looking like hella 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 bad I got about one two three about four nails missing I've been having these old nails off for a minute so it's time for me to get a new set and today, I know last, a couple vlogs ago, I said I was gonna get a French tip, but I am getting a French tip today because I'm just not in the mood to get a whole bunch of fancy designs. And if you don't know, I have a girl's trip coming up, so I'm gonna wait for that trip before I go crazy with the design. So, yeah, I'm due today, Saturday, by the way, I believe the 7th or something like that, July 7th, so. I'm gonna do that. I gotta pick up some laundry for my aunt. And then, um, yeah, there's a state fair that's going on. So I may take a night to that, but it's like really, really, really hot. So you probably won't be going to that until the sun starts setting. So by the time I come from the nail shop, get the laundry, start the laundry. And as y'all can see, I got my natural hair out. I gotta finish a video on that. So by the time I do all that, and then it'll be probably time to head out and see what this fair is talking about. But I really just want to go for the um, funnel cake. So we probably won't be there long. It don't look like it's that huge anyway. So just something to do, get out the house. This is Anaya's last weekend before she starts school. So, you know, we got to get out. It's a nice day today. I really don't feel like doing much, but I'm like, I can't have her sitting in the house all day today. So we'll do that. Of course, I'll bring my camera. Um, and yeah, I'll see y'all. I'll probably film today in the nail shop. So see y'all there. <laughs> Makeup on and don't care. My curls 
still look good though. <laughs> up y'all so it is the next day um it was a crazy day yesterday and i left my camera in the car because i brought my small purse like a fool so i had to record everything on my um cell phone but again we had fun it was a nice time um just to get out the house but um today is sunday and as y'all can see i'm looking a little different i got my little curls popping I'm trying to embrace the whole loving your hair, your natural hair, and also I need to get my hair back into, um, I need to get my hair back healthy. That's the bottom line. So if y'all have not watched my video on my hair and what I'm going to be doing, the steps I'm going to be taking, and also I want to encourage you all to join this Wear Your Natural Hair movement because I feel like what we see on social media pushes us to want to wear wigs and wear weaves and there's nothing wrong with it. Those are protective styles, kind of, in my opinion, because I was doing all those things and was ruining my hair. So watch that video. Let me know what y'all think. But yeah, I'm loving it. I really love big hair. I'm almost contemplating do I want to, um, and as you can see, this is shrinkage. Like, Normally, I would take the blow dryer and bring it down some um, so that I could have more length, but I'm really, I'm loving it how it is, but um, yeah, so anyway, I'm going to encourage you all to join that challenge. I was going to say something else, but I forgot, but um, it's Sunday. I got to um, drop some laundry off that I had picked up for my aunt yesterday, and um yeah, I'm, I've really been wanting Dole Whip. If y'all have not tried Dole Whip, it's real popular from what I know because of Disneyland, they sell it. It's like an ice cream. Um, the most popular flavor is pineapple, but it is so good, y'all. And when we went to the fair last night, they had it, but um, I had a bunch of cash on me and no one was taking cards. So I couldn't get my Dole Whip, but I will definitely... Um, be looking for a place today hopefully while we're out that has some dough whip we we will see because it's hard to find it um in this area but yep so i'm gonna um go ahead and get this laundry in the truck and i will see y'all there what up beauties so i just finished filming um a hair journey video that should be out way before this vlog but yep i um feel accomplished i drop off some laundry with my aunt like i mentioned finished filming this video now i'm about to probably order some thai food and then um call it an evening um you call it an evening but y'all are gonna love this video it's just pretty much about embracing embracing who you are but that's all i'll say about that but um Yep, so I'm going to order some Thai, and then um, I actually need to start some laundry myself. So I'll probably do some laundry, and then I, when I was cleaning today, because I did some light cleaning, um, it's driving me crazy. Let me show y'all, but I have all this stuff out here because, again, the guy who's going to be painting um, the two back bedrooms, Anaya's bedroom and the guest bedroom, he is not due back until tomorrow so we've had like all this stuff and he's doing bobby's office so we've had literally all of this stuff out here in the living room area for like two weeks now and it's driving me up the wall but um that's all my laundry that needs to get done so i need to do that but um 
what was I gonna do? Why did I tell y'all that? Oh, I hate when I do that. There was a reason why I was gonna tell y'all that. Oh, because when I was cleaning today, I noticed that I have a bunch of Bath and Body Works candles that I have not um, lit. And it's because when I got those Drake candles, I've been burning them damn Drake candles and ain't been paying my Bath and Body Works candles no mind. And also been burning that one candle, the peony candle that I told y'all I just got from Home Goods. But I'm like, Ugh. I've been neglecting my Bath and Body Works and anybody that knows Bath and Body Works candles are my number one. I don't care, but I do want to try um, that Santal candle that everybody's raving about by, um, damn, is it Labo? I don't even know because I don't get into the names of stuff like that. I just like to, if something smells good, I want it. So I am going to get that Santal candle. I know it's a little pricey, but I'll let y'all know if it's worth it as always. But yeah, so I'm gonna burn me a Bath and Body Works candle. As a matter of fact, let me show y'all which one, cause I didn't smell it. I just like peeped it down below cause I keep all my little candles down here. And I peeped this candle back here. See, these are the Drake ones, but I peeped this candle and I'm like, hold up. I ain't burning this. I don't even know what the scent is. Let's see, y'all. Please let it be something good. Paris Cafe. Oh, this is the one that um kind of smells like a bakery. Yeah, I see why that's been down there. I don't want that scent. Let's see what else we got. We got sun drenched, sun drenched linen. Lakeside morning, which I feel like I burned the hell out of. And then sea salt lemon, which is really, really heavy. Um, so I really haven't burnt this one. So I'm going to burn this one. Ooh, it just smells so fresh and so clean. And then, of course, my meat, my um, mahogany teak wood high intensity. This is my number one favorite from um, Bath and Body Works. Ooh, that smells so good. I think I might want to burn this one, actually. So, yeah. Um, and eventually y'all, once my subscriber count goes up, that's another thing on my channel, not trying to sell my channel, but, um, if you know, you know, I love giving away stuff. So of course, as my subscriber counts, when I hit different milestones, we'll definitely be doing great giveaways over here. I think I may do like a Bath and Body Works giveaway, candle giveaway, but we'll see. But anyway, y'all, let me figure out what we eat in. And I'll get back with you. What is up, y'all? I um, came back home. We finished eating. And now I'm editing this hair video um, that'll probably go out not tomorrow, but the day after because I'm doing a voiceover. And if you notice on my channel, I have no voiceovers because me, I hate hearing my voice playback, but I'm like, get over it. So I'm going to do a little voiceover, a little mini one, this for this video. So I'm trying to like edit everything first, get all the clips right, and then start my voiceover. So this video may not be that long, so I may be able to get it up. <laughs> I may be able to get it up tomorrow, but I'm about to pour me some of that jam jar wine. I love it. Bobby's like, uh, you can... You can have that, but I love it because it's not too sweet. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's a wine called Jam Jar. I featured it in my last vlog. I picked it up from Bev Mo, um, thanks to Chelsea Janae, so who's here on YouTube. So if you haven't tried it and you're into red wines that are about semi-sweet, that are flat without you know that spritz, Jam Jar is it. But um. Yep, so I'm just editing this video, getting ready for an, another long week. Naya starts school on Thursday, so I got to do her hair at some point before then. And then the guy's coming tomorrow to start um, sanding down these walls so he can paint um, these last two rooms. And then, yeah, I can start decorating the guest bedroom, which I'm excited for. I got the lamps and everything. Unfortunately, y'all, I can't show you because that's going to be a whole nother video 
on how I decorated that whole guest bedroom. So I'm a little nervous because this will be my first like decor video, but your girl knows how to decorate. So I don't even know what I'm tripping on, but yep, I'm going to go ahead and get back to this editing because it's already almost nine o'clock and I'm not staying up late tonight. So I will see y'all tomorrow. What is up? I don't think I turned on the camera. I think I recorded yesterday, but anyway, we are on our way to McDonald's. Yes, McDonald's. I do not, re I rarely eat at McDonald's these days unless I want me a fry. And you know, McDonald's used to have the best fries. So every now and then I'll pull up for a fry and I do like their pan pancake and sausage breakfast. So every now and then, I'll roll up to McDonald's, but I'm actually rolling up because it's August 9th. And if you don't know, Sweetie's um, McDonald's meal comes out today. So I'm gonna try it for you guys. Um, it does include a Big Mac. So she eats her Big Mac with um, nuggets on it and fries on it, which is crazy to me. And then she also um, puts, she has a special sweet and sour sauce that was specifically made um, just for her meals called Sweetie Sour. So we're gonna try this. I'm gonna eat it exactly how she has it. I think they even give you like a little brochure of how you're supposed to eat this Big Mac with all this stuff on it. So I've already watched a couple videos and it, well not a couple, but one video and it looks like they enjoyed the meal, but I also think it depends on your McDonald's. Cause you could go to a shitty McDonald's where the food is not fresh, the fries are cold, and it's gonna just mess up the whole meal. So I'm praying because today is the first day that they're um, doing this meal that they're gonna be on the A1 game and I'm going to the best McDonald's that I think is in my area because it's all about the McDonald's that you go to. So, um, Damn, I gotta get that computer screen out the back of my trunk. It just be rolling around. There goes the lighting. Um, you guys probably cannot see me, but yep. So that's what I'm doing, going to do that. I don't think um, anybody's trying the meal but me. And then she has a Sprite as a drink and supposedly the Sprite's supposed to taste a little better than the regular Sprite, but I doubt that. It's probably just a regular old Sprite. And the meal's like almost $9, so it better be good. Let's see if this line is wrapped around. Mm, it don't look that bad, so good. So, yeah, I've pretty much been, um, this damn, I've pretty much been working, um, the majority of the day. I gotta put this back down. So, um, I haven't been on camera. I've just been busy, busy, busy. Plus, I was working on trying to get a video, my hair video uploaded. And as you can see, my hair is dry. So, do not look at my hair. I got it wet, like I said, at the fair. And it's just a hot mess. But I have not had time to put it up in a bun or wash it. So, that's that on that. And, um, yeah. Yeah. I don't know, I only come, like I said, for the fries, oh, and the McFlurry, the Oreo McFlurry, yes. But anything else, and I used to love Big Macs, but now that I'm older, I try not to eat that kind of food, so. Or I should say, I try not to eat McDonald's burgers, but for y'all, I'm gonna try it, but look how dry my hair is because I got all that chlorine in my hair from the fair. Whew. I'm probably just gonna wear it in a bun tomorrow because I'm not gonna have time to wash and condition and all that. So I'm just gonna put this crap up in a bun in the morning and call it a day. Okay, y'all, let's see what they talk about. Ten, it's $10 for this meal. It, that's weird though because it didn't say ten dollars and i watched another person's vlog and they live in la and the, per the girl said eight dollars but it's ten dollars and 79 cents here 
Can I make out a three in mobile app today? Um, no. Okay, I got three today. Can I get the sweet email? I'm so sorry, give me one moment. Okay. Did you want that medium or large? Um, medium. What kind of drink? Um, it comes with the Sprite, right? Yeah. Okay. And then, um, can I get a, um, Nugget Kids meal? The, okay. the um, six piece with the Sprite. Apple slices or extra fries? Um, fries. Do I have the medium quality meal with the Sprite? Yes. And, and the six piece mega happy meal? Right. And then can I get a double quarter pounder with cheese? A two. What just is, a burger? Um, the meal with the Sprite. So I guess that's a number three. This lighting is so bad. And that'll be it. Okay, is everything on your screen correct? Yes. What kind of sauce did you want? Um, I think that for that, oh, actually, what kind of sauce you want? Barbecue. Um, barbecue. And can you add on extra sweetie sauce, the sweetie sour sauce, please? Barbecue, sweet and sour, okay, so that'll be on? Yep. And it'll be 28 All right, thank you. Now look at him thirsty. You gonna let me in or nah? Which who who's coming in? But I hate when my hair is dry. Like I put my hands in it and make it even more dry. Ah! Y'all, I was about to have to go off on a McDonald's employee. My thing about these fast food places or these little like you know food industry type places is don't work at a place if you can't provide customer service like if you don't like your job you don't want to be working there find another job like i shouldn't have to go in and tell you guys that i'm missing a meal you guys know what the sweetie meal comes with and the guy at the front should have checked my bag to make sure everything was there when i go to chick-fil-a they thoroughly check to make sure that you have everything that you order so why can't mcdonald's do it they've been in the industry too damn long but anyway y'all i digress i had to go back they forgot the sweet and sour i'm um, sweetie sauce they forgot the nuggets like that's the <laughs> The one of the most important thing, most important part of the damn meal. And it was ten dollars and some change. Uh no. So yep, um, I'm on my way back. I just I had parked my car and I tried to put my car in um, car. I parked my I was trying to make a U-turn and try to put my car, my truck, in reverse, and it would not let me. It was just stuck in park, y'all. So I'm like, what the hell? So right now my check engine light is on and I'm praying it's just something electrical, but I got to put this truck back in the shop. I'm like, please do not let this be the future of this truck because what in the hell? I just got this truck. It was um, insured to me that this is a certified pre-owned good truck because if any of y'all know, a brand new G-Wagon is like about almost $300,000, $400,000. I'm stretching. It's a good almost $300,000 after everything is said and done. And girl, hell no. So um, I got a certified pre-owned. Like the mileage was low. They took care of the truck. But now all this other shit is coming up. So I will be calling my service lady tomorrow, Miss Rebecca, for them to know that I will be taking this car, this truck, back up there because this is ridiculous that I'm driving a G-Wagon with a check engine light on. It just pisses me off. And I had the truck in there for more than three days. They put it on the diagnostic, mach diagnostic machine. It should have said something then. So it's probably something electric. 
but um yep so and sometimes i be feeling like they do shit to the car so that you can end up paying out of pocket or something like for some crazy shit but <laughs> we'll see i'll see y'all in a minute because i'm on a tangent today okay so i'm back y'all my hair is killing me anyway because it's so dry not because it's natural because it's so dry but um i'm back let's see what this sprite tastes like like a regular sprite okay y'all so like i mentioned you get a fry, you get a Big Mac, and you get a four-piece nugget, and you get the sweetie, sweet and sour sauce. Okay? And let's see. So I'm going to put a couple fries on here. I'm doing this for y'all. Okay, we're going to put this sauce, and as y'all know, mm, that's good, she's known for her crazy food combinations, and this is crazy, and I'm going to put one chicken nugget <laughs> on the burger. Okay, let's see. This hit. Mmm. Okay. Wow. Okay, Miss Icy. That is good, y'all. If the fries are just a little fresher, if I didn't have to turn around. I'm going to have to play my song for this one. Where my song at? Yeah, I think what sets it off is the sweetie and sour sauce. That's what's setting it off. And also the um the fries in the burger, but let's talk about the price. Now I know Miss Thane gotta get her cut, but why are they um having different prices everywhere you go. And another McDonald's, it was $8. My McDonald's is $10. So what's up with that McDonald's? But besides that, it's a little cute meal, you know, when you want to splurge, have a cheap day, because huh, I can imagine how many calories is there. But yeah. It's a cute little meal. Y'all got to try it. <clears throat> okay, so I'm about to... Now the battery is about to die. Seriously. Ugh. 
I'm so afraid that this battery, the other battery that I put in is going to die because I did not um, charge this one. So I got some stuff in the mail from Clarence I wanted to show y'all. Um, Clarence is like my top favorite skincare. It's a little, I wouldn't say it's expensive, but it ain't like cheap, cheap. But I got um, the Gentle Renewing Cleansing Mousse. I needed a different type of cleanser besides the one that I've been using. And this one, um, I believe, is an exfoliator, too. It says Gentle. I already told y'all that. It says Gentle Renewing Cleansing Mousse with Alpine Herbs and Tamarine, tamarine Pulp Extracts. I think I read that this was a... I don't think this one is an exfoliator. But, oh well. It was a smaller size, so it was cheaper. So I got that. And then um, I got some samples. I got a Lotus Treatment Oil. And these are pretty big samples, I think, than what they normally give. Oh, no, it ain't. So I got two samples of that. And they come in a pretty decent little size. So I got a Lotus Treatment Oil and then a... Um, multi-active night cream that targets fine lines so need that for these small lines there goes the damn battery I knew it and um if you never tried if you never tried Clarence lip comfort oil um, it is good and I got um, they have a new sh they have a new what is it they have a new line um, under this lip comfort oil and it's their shimmer line um, I wasn't expecting the color to be this dark, um, but it looks like maybe a nice fall color. So that's that. I'll have to show y'all that another time. Huh. Then they gave me another um, blue orchid. Oh, okay. So I got a lotus treatment face oil and then a blue orchid treatment oil. So these are all samples. And then the big Dundata that I got was the Tonic Sugar Body Polisher. I was just about out. Um, I told you all in like a couple of vlogs ago that this is like my fave, 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 fave body polisher. You get a pretty good size. It smells wonderful and it leaves my skin feeling um, nice and moisturized. You know how some body polishers, your skin still feels dry and you gotta put lotion on? Nah. You put this on, this is the lo the exfoliator and the lotion. So I would highly recommend this. I will definitely leave it in the description box. But this is the GOAT of um, body exfoliators. So that's pretty much all I got. The main reason was to get this because it sold out, I believe, on Ulta. And I don't know if they sell Clarins on Sephora, but it's for sure out on Ulta. So you got to go to the direct source so they had it on the clearance site but to be honest this has been sold out on the clearance site too and I just happened to get lucky so anyway I was going to show you all my skincare routine unfortunately uh, this camera's about to battery's about to die and basically all I'm really doing is I'm going to use my facial steamer and I'm also going to I'm going to wash my face use my facial steamer to open up my pores and then I'm going to use this Prism um, Herbivore um, face mask that I told y'all about in the last vlog and then I'm also going to use this sample facial oil by Herbivore that they included with this mask and then I'll report back to y'all um, probably the next vlog on how I'm feeling this mask but I'm going to go ahead and close out this vlog y'all I hope y'all enjoyed it. Of course, if you're new here, welcome to the BJD fam. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I love you all. And I didn't show y'all my nails. Just simple, simple white tips. That's all I got. I wanted to just have a clean cut. I didn't want to do the most. So yeah, bye.